Glastonbury, we've been talking about quite a bit. It has many Arthurian associations. Legend has it, Joseph of Arimathea brought the Holy Grail there in 63 AD. Uh, it's associated as being the Isle of Avalon where Arthur was taken after his death. According to Mall <coughs> Mallory, the Hermitage or chapel to which Arthur was taken after his death, death was a chapel beside Glastonbury. The graves of Arthur and Guinevere were said to have been discovered by the monks at Glastonbury in 1191 and reinterred in front of the high altar of the monastery church. So uh, you've seen a couple of these pictures already, but you haven't seen them all. Chalice Hill and the Glastonbury tour. Uh, here's Chalice Hill. The, uh, the name obviously is significant. Uh, people feel that at the base of Chalice Hill may have been where the grail was secreted. Uh, earlier in the course, we looked at Chalice Well, which is this weird water flow that comes down into a well and it runs red because of the high iron content. This is the Glastonbury tour, one of the best pictures I ever took. I stood in a field with some sheep uh, to capture this picture of the sun next to the uh, St. Michael's Church. The Glastonbury tour has all these rings around it, and uh, Jeffrey Ash believes that the rings comprise a three-dimensional maze. So if you ever want to go to Glastonbury and try to follow the maze, you'll have to buy Jeffrey Ash's book where he says, here's where you turn, and that sort of thing. Did you try the maze? I did. Were you successful? I guess so. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bright. He'd still be wandering around there. <laughs> the area between these two hills, Chalice Hill and a tour, may have been the location of the chapel that Arthur was taken after his death. According to Mallory, uh, Arthur was taken to a chapel, uh, which translated roughly as between two ancient wooded knolls. This area might also have been the site where Lancelot lived as a monk after the death of King Arthur. And I think I have a quote from Mallory. Here. Sir Lancelot awoke and went and took his horse and rode all that day and all night in a forest weeping. At last he was aware of a hermitage in a chapel which stood betwixt two cliffs. And then he heard a little bell ring to mass and thither he rode in a lit and tied his horse to the gate and heard mass. Uh, and he that sang that mass was the Bishop of Canterbury. <clears throat> the Abbey. This is the old church at Glastonbury uh, called St. Mary's in its later incarnation, but called St. Joseph's earlier. This sign right here, uh, which was not there the last time I went to Glastonbury, it may be back, uh, this sign marks the spot where they dug up the cross and the grave. <clears throat> 1278, Arthur's bones were interred by King Edward in a tomb located near the high altar of Glastonbury Abbey. It's hard to tell here that this is actually, there's the high altar of the Abbey Church. Uh, and then this, uh, this marker shows where the bones of Arthur and Guinevere were in the uh, monastic church. And How did Guinevere die? Uh, well, the, the pick your legend, but generally she died of old age in a convent. Here's a view of uh, the monastic church, St. Joseph's uh, church. Here's the, uh, the Queen Elizabeth cross. Uh, and again, that's another one of your great pictures. I happen to be in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. The mists of Avalon. Nice. That is pretty. That is neat.